So, in the last video, we have seen various operations that are supported by the NumPy package. So, basically the regular operations, right? In this video, we will focus on how NumPy can be used for the linear algebraic operations. So, like how to apply various operations on the matrices. There are extensive list of operations that are supported by the NumPy module on matrices. So, we will especially focus on how to apply the vector dot product, the matrix multiplication, then we will see how to do the inverse of the matrices, then the determinant of the matrix, the trace of the matrix. So, how to apply all these kinds of linear algebraic operations, we will see with some examples in this lecture. We will discuss various linear algebraic operations on array objects that are supported by NumPy in this video with some examples. So, we will see basically how to create the identity matrix, how to apply the transpose of the matrix, how to find the trace and determinant of the matrix and then we will discuss how to find the dot product of two vectors, applying the matrix with the vector and then how to multiply two or more matrices and then how to find the inverse of a matrix and finally we will discuss how to find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues for a given matrix. So, all these linear algebraic operations so we will see with some examples. In the earlier videos itself we have discussed how to create the identity matrix. So, let us have a review of this. To create an identity matrix in NumPy you can use the i method. By passing size value to the i method we can create the identity matrix of certain dimension. So, here in this example we are passing 3 as the argument to the i method to create a 3 by 3 identity matrix and similarly we can create the 4 by 4 identity matrix by passing the value 4 to the i method. That is how you can create the 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 or n by n identity matrix by using the i method. And now let us consider this two dimensional matrix A2 which has 4 rows and 10 columns and now I would like to apply the transpose on these matrix. And now let us see how we can identify the transpose of this 4 by 10 matrix. There are two ways to apply the transpose of the given matrix. By simply using A2.t you can get the transpose of the matrix A2. So, here you can observe all the rows of the given matrix A2 becomes columns here and all the columns becomes the rows here. So, that is how you can apply the transpose of a given matrix or otherwise you can even use the transpose method by passing the array name to the transpose method you can get the transpose of the given matrix. So, here also the matrix A2 is transpose. So, now let us consider how to find the trace of the matrix and the depth of the matrix. So, consider this uh, two dimensional array object which is of size 3 by 3. So, now to find the trace of this 3 by 3 matrix you can use the trace method you just pass the matrix name to the trace method. So, that gives you the trace of the matrix. Trace is basically the sum of the elements on the diagonal. So, if you observe here 9 plus 5 plus 1 it is 14. So, that is how you can get the trace of the matrix. To find the determinant of a given matrix you can use the debt method. In the NumPy package there is a module which contains various operations related to the linear algorithms. So, we have a module with the name LINALG which stands for linear algorithms and in that you have a method with the name debt. So, you pass the matrix name to the debt method to get the determinant of the given matrix. Now, consider these two vectors x and y. So, I am taking the vectors. So, now I am going to identify the dot product of these two vectors x and y. So, you can use the method dot provided by the NumPy package to find the dot product of two vectors. So, here I am finding the dot product of x and y and y and x. So, here in these examples I am finding the dot product of x and y. So, you need to remember that the dot product of x and y is equal to the dot product of y and x. You need to remember that the dot product of two vectors is symmetric. So, that is why you are getting the value 32 when you are applying the dot product on either x and y or y and x. So, now let us see how we can multiply a matrix with a vector. Let us consider the matrix A which is of two dimensional. So, here you can observe it is a two dimensional matrix and x is a vector with three elements. So, here the matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix whereas the vector is having three elements. Now, I am going to apply the dot product on this matrix and this vector. So, you can use the dot method of the NumPy package to find the product between a vector and a matrix. You can use the dot method to find the multiplication of a matrix with a vector. And similarly, you can also use the same dot method to find the multiplication of two or more matrices. So, consider these two matrices A and B which are two dimensional in nature. So, A and B are both of size 3 by 3 and now I am going to apply the matrix multiplication on these two matrices. So, I can use the dot method to get the multiplication of the matrices A and B. So, you just need to pass the matrices A and B to the dot method. 
So you need to remember dot method is very much helpful for the linear algebraic operations. You can apply the dot product of the two vectors or you can even use the same method to find the multiplication of a vector with the matrix or you can even use the same method to multiply two matrices. Now let's see how we can find the inverse of a matrix. Before applying the inverse of the matrix, you need to check whether the matrix is singular or not. To check whether the matrix is a singular matrix or not, you can find it using the determinant of the matrix. So you know how to find the determinant of a matrix, use the depth method and compute the determinant of the matrix. So if the determinant of the matrix is non-zero value, then only you can apply the inverse of the matrix. In the module linear algorithms, you have a method with the name INV, which stands for inverse. Using that method, you can compute the inverse of a non-singular matrix. So here I am passing the matrix A to the inverse method to get the inverse of the matrix A. Now let's see how we can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a given matrix. Computing the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors is very, very important in case of the machine learning or the image processing application. In the same linear algorithmic module, you have the method with the name EIG, which stands for the Eigen vectors or the Eigen values. By passing the matrix name to the EIG method, you can compute both the Eigen vectors and the Eigen values. This EIG method returns two arguments. So you can see here it returns the Eigen values and the Eigen vectors. So I am displaying both the Eigen values and the Eigen vectors. That is how you can find the Eigen vectors and the Eigen values of a given matrix. So far in this lecture, we have seen how to apply various linear algebraic operations on the given matrix. Now I hope you understand how to apply the transpose of the given matrix, how to find the trace and determinant of a given matrix, then how to find the matrix or the vector multiplications then how to find the inverse of a given matrix and the more computationally intensive applications like eigenvector and eigenvalue computations can also be done very easily using a single statement itself. So you are just calling the method EIG to compute the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues of a given matrix. That is how you can apply various linear algebraic operations on the array objects. So you need to remember one thing. So this can be extended to multi-dimensional array objects also. So you need not to apply it on 1D or the two-dimensional array objects. You can extend the same to the multi-dimensional array objects also. So now I hope you understand how to apply various linear algebraic operations using the NumPy package on the n-dimensional arrays. So we have seen in detail about how to apply the matrix multiplication, addition, then the matrix inverse, matrix determinant, trace of the matrix. So all these operations in detail we have seen. So I hope you understand all the details. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.